okay, okay, all right. So thank you very much. Uh, so very good afternoon to everyone. So today we are going to start the lab seven. So basically we will talk about the uh, UML diagrams. Okay, based on the uh, lab six. Okay, the code from the lab six. Uh, if you uh, look at the lab six code, so from there, uh, we'll uh, draw the different uh, diagrams, class diagrams, then and then uh, we'll show uh, the, uh, the diagrams and their relationship. For example, in the class diagram, uh, we'll draw a class diagram showing the classes, their relationship, describing what's the relationship between the classes. Then after that, we will move to the uh, sequence diagram, draw a sequence diagram showing the interactions between the objects for and the scenario of the updating and displaying the positions of one ball objects. And then we will move to next is the, the collaboration diagram, also similar with draw the collaboration diagram showing the interaction between the objects of the scenario of updating the updating and displaying the position of one ball objects. And then lastly here, we will also draw a straight uh, transition diagram for a ball objects using the direction of motion uh, as the state. Then we will also uh, uh, discuss about what is the relationship between a pair of classes. Uh, and, and after that, what is the relationship and how we will, uh, uh, we will show the relationship using the symbol, okay? Then the last one, we will discuss about uh, a list of given classes. And after that, from this class, uh, we will uh, draw the class diagram for each of the classes and we will make the relationship uh, among them and we will also apply the uh, how to make the relationship using the UML diagrams and also um, the bright uh, there relationships. Okay, so let's move to the uh, code and I will show you the code first. Okay. Okay, if you look at the code, this is the ball, right? So if you look at here, we define the ball and all these properties here. And then after that, you look at the ball world, also we define here, right? So object create the object and other properties also. Okay, now let's move to our uh, first question. Okay, if you look at here, the first questions we are going to, we are going to draw the class diagram from the code, right? So if you look at the class ball, right? You look at the class ball. So this is the class ball, remember. So in the class diagram, remember we have three sections. The first section is name of the class, so ball is here. And the second section is the name of the attributes. So this part is the second part. So look at the attributes, private, color is the name of the class, then we create the object C. So how we can represent here, minus because of the private, and then the object name is C, C colon name of the class, okay? Then next one is, the size of the ball we define here, uh, private integer s. So size s. So minus is because of the private minus s colon. Then the type we define is the integer type. Similarly, you look at here integer x y is the position of the initial position of the ball. So we can define here minus x colon integer minus y colon integer. And then similarly, you look at here, uh, the directions of the ball moving from one location to another location. So x direction dx and y direction dy. How you can define this one? Minus private dx colon integer. Similarly, minus dy colon integer, right? Okay, now comes to the constructor. Okay, in the constructor. So we define the parameters here. The first one is the color, C-O-L, the object is color, so ball. So object, remember object, colon, name of the class. Similarly, we look at here next, 
parameter is integer position post x. So position position x post x colon integer. Similarly, position y position y colon integer. Then integer size. So size colon integer. Integer move x move x colon type integer. And the last one is the integer move y. So move y colon integer. All right. So I hope you understand this one. Now so comes to the comes to the move function. Okay, you look at the move function. So move function is the public void move. Okay, so how you can define inside the class diagram. So uh, plus because of the public move function, then colon return type is void. Now look at the last one, public void draw graphics G. Okay, so draw function because of the public class, then G colon, the object colon name of the class object clone name of the class is the graphics return type then again one more clone then return type is the point okay so i hope you understand how to draw the class diagram from the ball class okay next move to the ball world okay so the ball world if you look at here the ball world class right so we define first section of the class diagram ball world the next one is the look at here, we put here public static, public static, remember this one. Okay, before that we can uh, see, create the ball. Okay, create the ball, uh, uh, basically, uh, first one, okay, first one, P1. Okay, B1, then colon ball is the class name equal, we define the ball and assign the values for each of the parameters, right? So the first one is the color dot red. Okay, ball, red color. Okay, color dot red. Then the second parameter. Then the third parameter, the x and y coordinate value. Okay, then the size, size of the ball. Then dx and dy, 10 and 15. Okay, now comes to here, public static integer left equal to 50, right equal to 350, top equal to 50, and bottom equal to 350. Now, if you look at here, we use public, public because of public class, then static. If we use the static, then you have to use the underline. Okay, because of static underline, then you define this parameters left colon integer equal to 50. Similarly, the right value, right plus right colon integer equal to 350. Then the top, top is the plus top colon integer equal to 50. Then the last one is the plus bottom colon integer equal to 350. And all we put the underline because of static. Okay. And the next come to the Paint function, paint. Look at here, paint. Paint function, then we pass the parameter is G. G is the object of the class graphics. Okay, so G colon graphics, return type is void, then void. The last one is the slope, public void slope. Then we pass the parameter into the T. So how we can define this one? How we can define? Public is plus slow, then T colon integer. Okay. Then again, colon return type from the function is the void. void. Okay, I hope you understand how you can draw from the code of ball world uh, to the UML class diagram. Okay, move to the next slide. So this is talking of the relationship, okay, between the each of the class. So we draw this one using the class class diagram, and after that, we'll make the relationship between them. Okay, so if you look at this code, you see public class ball world extends applet. So that means the ball world is the, is the actually subclass from the, coming from the parent class applet, clear? 
So how we can define? So we define this is the parent class, right? The applet. Then this is the ball world. So you look at here the arrow key. Okay, the triangle arrow key defined as the applet is the parent class and the ball wall is the child class. So we can make the relationship between applet and ball wall. Okay, now comes to the comes to the next relationship, the ball and the ball wall. So use the ball here, right? Ball. So use the ball inside the ball wall. Okay, so that means the ball and the ball world is, we can make the relationship, if you look at here, the relationship is the, we call the aggregation relationship. Okay, why aggregation relationship? Because this has a relationship. We can say that the ball world has one or, or any number of objects of ball. You see, one, Okay, one or any number, one or many, we can say one or many number of balls of objects uh, that can be used by the ball world. Okay, so we can make the relationship the aggregations. Okay, now comes to the next relationship with the graphics. Okay, the graphics. Okay, so the ball and the ball world both actually use the graphics class. So use the relationship we call the um, dependency relationship. Why dependency relationship? The both ball and ball world depends on graphics. You see, we put the symbol here, dot, 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 arrow key, and also from the ball, dot, 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 arrow key. So the graphics, any change in the graphics, remember, any change in the graphics, that will affect the output in the ball world and the ball class. So that's why we call this relationship is dependency. And the first relationship, we call the generalization because of their relationship inherited. Because the ball world is the subclass of applet class. So they are inherited. That's why we call the name of the relationship is generalization. Okay. I hope you understand the concept of this, the, the class relationship uh, from the ball world and the ball class.